you're probably familiar with some of the work done by the county's Solid Waste Bureau. They're the folks that pick up our trash, recycling, and yard trimmings from those large curbside bins each week. But did you know they also operate an award-winning example of closed-loop recycling right in the middle of a local neighborhood? We'll tell you more about that later in our program, but first... The Arlington County Fair opens Wednesday, August 16th, and runs through Sunday, August 20th. There will be racing piglets and rides of all sorts, music and entertainment, food trucks and vendors, and much, much more. Due to construction at the site, there is no public parking at the fair this year, and parking on nearby streets is restricted to neighborhood residents. There will be shuttles, public transportation, and a bike corral. Check arlingtoncountyfair.us for specific times and more information on how to get to the fair car-free. Arlington was named the top digital county in the nation for the second straight year. We were honored by the Center for Digital Government and National Association of Counties for best technology practices in areas of open government, transparency, citizen engagement, cybersecurity, and operations. The award singled out our live streaming of county board and commission meetings. It also recognized the Department of Technology's Digital Destiny campaign, created to establish a future roadmap for a fast and ever-changing digital world. You can watch Digital Destiny sessions and county board meetings on your computer, phone, or tablet device, or right here on Arlington TV. To learn more about the award and use of technology and Arlington, go to newsroom.arlingtonva.us. In other award news, Arlington's Roslyn Sector Plan won the Virginia chapter of the American Planning Association's Halsheimer Award. The award recognized the long-range plan's contribution to Arlington's economic development. The Roslyn Sector Plan provides both a vision and a guide to future growth and development in the Roslyn area. Learn more about the plan and its implementation at projects.arlingtonva.us. Arlington's Earth Products Recycling Yard is a unique three-acre facility surrounded by, yet hidden from, high-end homes, a commercial district, an elementary school, and a popular nature trail. You have probably driven right by it and have no idea that you just passed an award-winning example of closed-loop recycling. Here to tell us more about it is Max Johns, the operations manager for the Solid Waste Bureau. We are at the Arlington County Solid Waste Bureau Earth Products Recycling Yard. Um, here we process materials and make them into usable byproducts. Um, some of the materials that we process are, are organic, which include leaves from the vacuum leaf collection program, wood waste from the brush collection, and also yard waste. We turn these into, into usable products such as leaf mulch, wood mulch, and topsoil. We also process inert materials here. We'll take in a mix often of dirt and asphalt and concrete from construction projects around the county. Um, we will separate them into the dirt component and then we'll size the, the asphalt, concrete, and rocks into types of gravel that are used for construction projects within Arlington County. The piece of equipment behind me is called a dirt shaker and it, what it does is it separates the larger rocks that will ultimately be crushed and it separates the dirt that will ultimately be made into topsoil. The dirt that comes out of the, the dirt shaker goes through the trommel screen which separates the pea gravel and that sort of thing and um, gives us the dirt. The dirt then is mixed with the yard waste compost that we've prepared earlier in the year, those are mixed and we make a soil amendment or topsoil amendment. A lot of the topsoil is used by our parks department. Um, we also work on special projects. Recently we put about 1,300 yards of that at a facility called the Laporte facility over by WETA and um, made it into a parkland. This is an in-vessel composter that we use to process food waste. Um, we've used this to process food waste from the Marine Corps Marathon, the Army 10 Miler, the um, Columbia Pike Blues Festival, and Taste of Arlington. We've also done a pilot program with one of the local elementary schools 
and this is a program that we're looking to expand, but we're learning how, to, how the process works. We use this for the garden that we have here at the Solid Waste Bureau, and um, we're looking forward to, to using it for other uses as the pro production kind of increases. Thanks, Max, for sharing this great information with us. Operation of the Earth Products Recycling Yard contributes to the county's 46% recycling rate, and that's one of the highest in the region. To find out more, go to recycling.arlingtonva.us and learn about the many services offered by the Solid Waste Bureau. We're getting excited about Arlington's Police, Fire, and Sheriff Block Party. It's on Saturday, August 26, from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. at Kenmore Middle School. It's great fun and includes canine and motor demos, a helicopter show, a distracted driver course, free food and drinks, and so much more. Learn more on our calendar at today.arlingtonva.us and by searching for Block Party. Arlington can be hot, humid, even sweltering in August, but we've got lots of places where you can cool off. Take a dip in one of our community pools. There's one at each of our high schools and head to one of our four spray grounds. Just check the hours of operation at parks.arlingtonva.us. And if you'd prefer to stay dry, spend some time in one of our many libraries or community centers. They're open daily and offer a variety of programs and learning opportunities, as well as air conditioning. Check our website for tips on keeping cool in hot weather at emergency.arlingtonva.us. Search weather. Well, that's it for this edition. You can find out more about events going on around Arlington by liking us on Facebook, following us on Twitter, and checking our website at arlingtonva.us. And we'll see you next time around Arlington.